Hello, Phil Helm here from the uh, Share Salisbury team. I've uh, recently become quite a convert to fresh pasta, and it just so happens that we've got a pasta maker in the library, and so I thought I'd show you how to use it. It's dead easy, makes great pasta, and uh, it's actually quite fun. So what you get is um, this main unit here, which is used for um, kind of putting the pasta through a mangle uh, and making it nice and thin, um, rolling around uh, with a little handle here. Uh, we've got a uh, grip here to hold it nice and firmly onto the table. Um, and at the back here, we've got the bit which cuts it up into either spaghetti uh, or to linguine. Today we're going to make some linguine. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the pasta as well. It's dead easy um, and it's really quite fun. So for the pasta, you're just going to need uh, eggs, two to be precise, one whole, one just the yolk, table salt, extra virgin olive oil, some flour. Right, so now we're going to make some pasta. So we're going to take the um, 100 grams of uh, flour that we've uh, already weighed out. We're going to take the eggs that we've already cracked. Not forgetting the separate yolk, a little bit of salt and some olive oil. And then all we're going to do is uh, mix it all up and turn it into a dough. And so once you've finished um, doing all your mixing together the dough, should end up something like this. Uh, what we're going to do now is wrap it in cling film and stick it in the fridge. The uh, dough has now come out of the fridge, um, and we're now just going to do a quick bit of uh, quick bit of kneading. So just lob a bit of flour onto your uh, surface, a bit of flour onto our lump of dough, a little bit like a donut, but I mean that's good. Um, and then we're just going to give it uh, a bit of kneading to, which is just going to really improve the elasticity uh, of the dough, and make it better for uh, what we want to do with it. Right, so we're now ready for action with the uh, pasta maker. Um, I've kneaded my dough, um, cut it up I think probably into something like um, quarters, you won't need too much to start off with otherwise it'll all get a bit out of hand. And um, I'm just show you what we're going to do now. So basically you're going to take your um, quarter of uh, kneaded dough and uh, just like push it out into some sort of square shape. <coughs> Keep a bit of uh, flour on it. We've polished up the uh, pasta maker so it's nice and clean ready to go. Put it on setting one which is the widest one using this uh, knob at the side here and then we're just going to sort of wind the handle and if we've made a thin bit at the front just to get it going we can then have it going through the machine and it's just like as I say putting it through the mangle to make it a bit thinner. Keep it on the same setting just for a few turns before you start going on to the thinner settings. Um, and then what I recommend is just like folding it over on itself, um, squeezing down one end and then putting it through again. As I discovered, if it's not working, it's probably because you're turning the handle the wrong way. <laughs> um, and you're going to do this a few times just to uh, get it all sorted out. Right, so we're now going to slot on the uh, cutter onto the back of the machine and it slides on there. Um, you see I've turned it around just to make it a bit easier to film what's going on. 
um, and the handle is transferred from the um, back of the uh, mangly bit onto the cutter that you, you want to use. So for the <coughs> linguine it's the one at the front. Um, right, so this now needs really more than one set of hands, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so we're going to carefully feed in the uh, pasta and see how we go. <laughs> There we go, fresh pasta uh, with a bit of pesto and when finished with the pasta maker uh, just give it a wipe over with uh, a bit of kitchen towel and you're good to go. Hope you get a chance to enjoy it yourself. Okay, bye for now.